What is going on, Lunatic Fringe? Crypto be crazy, dog. Let's talk about what's going on in the Luna Classic realm. We've got two days before Terraform Labs would be forced to absolutely annihilate a significant portion of their holdings uh, of Terra Luna Classic and USTC. I say a significant portion. All of it has to be gone by October 30th. Now, we haven't seen very much happening in the way of these burns over the last couple of days. It seems like they're waiting until the last moment or the last minute, which is a little bit peculiar in my opinion. It seems like this is something that we should be really kind of just go ahead and do it, get it done with, don't wait for the last minute or anything like that. Like, why would you do that? That's an example of laziness. And I don't think that's a testament to Terraform Labs. So now I'm a little bit concerned about what could be happening here. However, I do want to say that I think that this is your chance to do your last possible accumulation of, and really the one that I think is going to be the one that, that, that runs the most, USTC at this point in the short term. I would think that if you remember, we'll, we'll, we'll look at it on the price chart, but I'm going to give you an estimate here of what I think is going to happen in the next couple of days. And then uh, you can decide for yourself whether or not that's something that you want to put some risk on. Uh, you are your own investor. I'm not your financial advisor. I'm just a guy out here on Luna Classic telling you what I think. So uh, that being said, let's kick it off. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on your way in. Okay, so proposal number one has passed and that was it was 12 142 or something like that uh, developer orbit labs proposal to remove forked mainline modules from the terra luna classic blockchain has received massive approval from voters it went over almost a hundred percent in fact it was 99.97 so um, this means that forked modules will be removed now once the forked modules are removed then that would mean that the Luna Classic chain would be in full compliance with Cosmos. So every time there's an update for Cosmos, then you can just add it into the Luna Classic chain. Uh, so the Cosmos SDK is no longer needing special programming, which would uh, allow for us to use funds for something different. So I think that's a pretty good thing so far. That is, if that's how it's going to work. Now, by removing the forked mainline modules, this is the statement that was made. We aim to position Terra Classic for long-term sustainability and growth within the Cosmos ecosystem. We believe this approach balances the need for improvement with prudent risk management and community involvement. We welcome feedback and discussion from the Terra Classic community on this proposal. Also, by diverging from the mainline Cosmos SDK and related modules, Terra Classic risks falling behind in adopting key enhancements and new features developed by the broader Cosmos community. So we're simplifying the process that we're doing here. This can limit Terra Classic's competitiveness and make it more difficult to integrate. And here's the idea. You want to make Terra Luna Classic as easy as any other blockchain for a developer to just ease their way in. Also, and this is really important, if you have a dApp built on, say, Crow or some other chain, then it would be important to be able to just, as a developer, to just move it into each and every one of the Cosmos chains. By removing forked modules, then you're reducing the level of programming and knowledge needed from these people to make adjustments into each ecosystem, thus creating the potential for a much better, more robust a set of options for dApps for the Luna Classic chain. This creates more opportunity for developers to step in easily and uh, create their project or transfer their project onto our chain. So we're clear on that. Good. This is actually a pretty decent move. Now, as far as uh, discussions are going right now, really the discussion here is the development of a burning interface and reward mechanism for USTC. Seems to be a lot of focus right now. And then adjusting burn tax distribution to incentivize staking. Now, nothing has come up for proposal except there is one proposal that just popped up. And that was to implement a simplified tax handling on Terra Classic. This proposal seeks approval to deploy the reverse charge mechanism. Now, if you're not familiar, reverse charge, this is from Strathcole, Happy Caddy Crypto, with the idea behind this being that this would be the tax to gas implementation, only a, on a different level. Now, um, it looks like it's going to just bang out immediately. So let's talk a little bit about what it is. 
This would be automatic tax deduction. Tax by default is deducted from the sent amount, removing the need for the senders to make sure to send enough fees. Uh, it would be backwards compatible. DAPs can still choose to allow the sender to cover the tax on normal fund transfers if desired, ensuring full backward compatibility with existing system. Contract interaction in case in DAPs continue to send the to let the sender pay tax when interacting with contracts. These funds are automatically refunded to ensure a consistent and fair taxation process, elimination of double taxation, tax to gas obsolescence. This solution places the need for the tax to gas, replaces the need for the tax to gas approach, resolving the concerns and complexities associated with that model. Uh, then existing whitelisting mechanisms remain intact for Binance Wallet. It is desired to implement a more fine-grained whitelisting feature under governance proposal via tax zones in a future update. The proposed implementation of tax handling is fully compatible with that and then wallets like Kepler station and others are expected to continue to work without changes local tests emulating the process used by these wallets have shown no issues now for those of you that are, are wondering I put a video out on Saturday if you're wondering about wallet compatibility or anything like that I'm using the Kepler wallet going forward now that does not mean that I'm not still using the station wallet but I have Kepler set up as a backup all you have to do if you are concerned about station is because at some point if there's nobody supporting station then it is really a zombie wallet and will just disappear over time because the functionality at some point will break because it's not supported so if that is the case then take your 24 uh, word seed phrase and implement it or import it into kepler now you can also do that into metamask i'm told or into the leap wallet there's plenty of different wallets i chose kepler so i'm going to use kepler for now i don't like metamask i don't have any problem with metamask but that I, I would prefer to use something that's more Cosmos oriented. And I think Kepler represents that opportunity. So um, that's going to be my wallet. You decide which one is for you. Do what you got to do, bro. All right. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk meme coins. And as you can see around here, we got cat with hat down about 11% on the day, looking at the value still 116. So it's still doing pretty well. Boy, still over a hundred jurist fallen under a hundred had a little bit of a sell off last night. Not huge, but you know, 10% is still 10 percent uh food uh as well kind of just just kind of sitting there in a good position and uh you know the big one right here to me right right now not a meme coin but ustc i do want to stress they do think it's going to blow up so uh garuda x sitting around 41 so um let's break down price action now a year ago the valuation of cryptonomy.finance was 3.7 billion dollars according to the british government today that value 6.1 billion this company has managed to raise 2.4 billion dollars in capital over the last 365 days if you're looking for a place to get information about investment opportunities then cryptonomy telegrams are the place over here this is the quarter uh this is the quarter third quarter uh marketing overview this is ben armstrong has predicted uh, xrp past ETH and market capitalization. These are news articles that are constantly giving you the information that you need. Additionally, there's an update channel and it's giving you market structure playouts. It's giving you market updates on each major country and indices that there are out there right now to give you an idea of what is going on in the market so that you can get an idea of what it looks like broadly and how these governments are working. Big news articles, whatever you need, Cryptonomy has it for you. Not only does Cryptonomy have it, but myself, Dean DCA, Crypto, Lyft Capital, Jake Gordon, we're all writing articles for Cryptonomy. You can come check. I did one on Immutable Quarter 2 of 2024. Uh, we've also got Thorchain, State of NYM, and we got Ronin's Web3 Gaming Empire. Guys, if you need information about this crazy crypto market, then by all means, you need to go to economy.finance slash research. But none of that matters unless you are using cryptonomy.finance the way that it's meant to be used by setting up fixed staking so that you can earn some significant yields. Let's set up a deposit today. Today we're dropping three ETH into a nine month contract. All right, we've created that, but the biggest move into all of it is the launch pool. Guys, I cannot stress enough. They've had 57X average return so far in their investments. If you just create a deposit, I've got a potential for up to 5x with a 50-50 profit sharing from the launch pool. We're going to create this contract now for $20,000. And there we have it. The anticipated profit between 1 and 5x when this thing is completed. And it will complete in October of 2025, just in time to cash out for the bull market. So what are you waiting for? Sign up for autonomy.finance today. All right. So uh, still in the channel. We've not broken out of this channel. I'm using 
for that purpose there. I was using uh, weekly, but you know, let's look at this right here. You can see we bounced off of the 50 up into the 200, and now it seems like we had a little bit of a rejection off of the 200, but it's getting bought back up, and we're down on the day, but we were spiking for a nice little move, right? So I think the move will continue. I think we're actually uh, in a positive phase right now. And any little burn, something like that, that we see over the next day or two for Terraform Labs, I'm gonna send this thing into orbit, in my opinion. So I think that we're right now at what you would call an inflection point. Also, I do wanna point out, I started to put the MACD back down here so that you can see where the flow of money is going and the flow in red has turned into pink, meaning that most likely the money flow is coming back to the positive. Does that mean it's in the positive? No, uh, but it means that you know you can make a reasonable estimation at this point that money flow is about to come back in because normally you see that happen and you see this upward mobility right here and that usually is a spike in price. So uh, I would suspect that we're probably going to see that. Now, let me also point out sometimes here you can see there's, there's sometimes there's a pink going back to red, pink going back to red, stuff like that. Doesn't mean that we're out of the quote unquote woods yet. I don't think that the bull run really kicks off until January. And I mean that for altcoins. So I think we still have, you know, another month and a half at least of accumulation before uh, we really, really, really start to kick it off big time. So uh, just bear that in mind. And uh, let's keep going here. Uh, I do think that, again, the spike is going to be up into this range and we're going to top out at the top of this. That's not, by the way, it's not a huge move, but it is a good move. Okay, so from here to here, talking about a 32% increase. Yeah, again, not huge, but uh, you know, I'll take that any day. That's a, a, a good gain. That gives us impetus. That gives people motivation. That makes people say, hey, I wonder what's going on over here. And by the way, when you look at it right there, your volume node just kind of sitting right in that 11 range, three zeros 11, uh, then all the way up into that three zeros 12 with your breakout zone right there at 3016, uh, being the other tiny portion of the volume node. But that gives us that impetus to break through this right here, which by the way, we should point out, this is about the level of prohibitive resistance that you're looking at at that range before you get up into this spot right here. So, um, you, you know, what we're gonna see is gonna be a, a big time move. Uh, I'm pretty confident in this at this point. So that's what I think is happening, but, we're kind of looking at USTC right now. And look, if we were to just consider, just consider, right here, we got 1.8 billion and we got 290 million. These are big time wallets right here and they're about to burn all of those. Now, more I think about it, the more I think that that might be included and cooked into this little mix right here for burns. So I'm not sure whether or not we're going to get a spike, but the fact that we see those disappearing and the fact that we see uh, that maybe we see the total supply reduce or something like that. It's going to be, um, it's going to put things on people's radars. Okay. And people are going to want to enter their position and they're going to want to get in early because they're seeing something happening right here. So it is my estimation that we are in for what I've been telling you for a while, which is this spike up to this range. And guys, I want to stress here, I think in my opinion, I'm not not an expert, but I think this might be an easy 3x. I, it is my opinion that this is an easy 3x from where we are right now, at least. Okay. Now, I, I don't know that it will happen. It is my guess, okay? But I think that I'm right. I think that what we're gonna see is a really big, because of that big burn, because we're looking at you know, 1.8 billion and 290 million, because we're looking at all of that, I think that it's important to recognize. And by the way, um, it is possible that LFG was already removed from that mix, but even 290 million off of Terraform Labs was probably not. So this could be a great opportunity. And going back over here, we had a better sense here. Uh, we've got total USTC burn 3.14 billion. We've got burn on chain 2.62 billion. And then we've got in the burn wallet 5.12 million. So you know, maybe, just maybe, uh, this is going to spark some kind of real enthusiastic move right here. Speaking of real enthusiastic moves, however, 22.53 billion cat with hat have now been burned. And uh, let's go back over here real quick. And let me talk to you. As you can see from this right here, this is a, a, a continuation 
of a big move. Now I gave you this. I gave I just this is my donation to you at six zero six. So you're up a hundred percent right now on your investment. And Cat with Hat continues to take that opportunity to try to make that breakout. Now, if it breaks out, then we're going into price discovery. Price discovery does more than a $90,000 market cap with 11,000 liquidity. It is my estimation that Cat with Hat will be one of those big ones early on that's going to take off as this ecosystem, which let's run it back one more time, is about to have the reverse charge implemented, uh, already has the simplified fork modules uh, being pulled so that uh, we can simplify, I meant simplify the, the, the chain by removing fork modules. All of these things right here are going to make it more prudent for people to hold on to meme coins because this will be an ecosystem in which meme coins will thrive. I'm telling you this right now, just so you know. But, I mean, here we are with just a lot of opportunity, okay? So let me keep going here because now I'm going to get excited. All right, so uh, USTC probably going to take off. Uh, Luna Classic, you can see right here, just kind of falling off. So I think that or Luna, not Luna Classic, but Luna, it looks really cooked right here. So once they've done it and they've handed everything over in the next couple of days, uh, Luna, I don't even think, look, my, the, the value that I have in Luna isn't even worth it anymore. Um, it was worth it up here at around $2. Uh, it was worth it up here um, uh, when it spiked up here to about $7. It was worth it then right now at 33 cents like i just write it off at best i'm just going to move luna over into luna classic and that's going to be it you know what i mean so that's about all i can see right now as a use for luna uh so uh let's uh, uh let's keep going okay so last couple days very low amounts of burns leading to only 247 million in burns over the last seven days again look we've had worse this is not horrible. We'd like to be over 300 million at least every seven days. I don't know why that makes me feel comfortable. What would make me feel comfortable is about a billion per week. Um, and by the way, that would not even make me comfortable. That would just make me feel better about volume trading. But uh, 247 million over the last couple of days. Remember, this is the calm before storm. Uh, I don't know how big the storm gets, but it's a calm before the storm. So we'll see how this plays out. Uh, and it'll play out really good if you're trading and uh, at Terraport, and you're using Terra Casino the way it's meant because they're giving away 2 million euros uh, December 22nd by December 22nd. So if you haven't already, I can't, I don't, I don't know why you wouldn't be signed up already. Like that's just bonkers to me. Now you got Danger High Voltage 2 being sponsored by BTG being brought to you right now. So if you want to check that out, certainly go check that out today. And uh, look, you can use all these different cryptos in order to do that. And by the way, look at this original down here. You now have a Bitcoin coin flip that you can play. What's stopping you? Poverty? Come on. You don't get rich by sitting there waiting. I'm just kidding. That's how you get rich. Anyway, um, and then finally, Terraport. This is where you come for your meme coins. Don't invest unless you're prepared to lose all the money you invest. This is a high-risk investment. You should not expect to be protected if something goes wrong. Take two minutes to learn more. This is them telling you, you know, you guys, be careful. Be careful out here because this is a, a cutthroat sort of place, cutthroat sort of business. Now, um, meme token competition, $5,000 prize. We're excited to announce our meme token competition with a grand prize of $5,000. There's registration that ends in two days. So if you are looking to do this, then register with this form. Token must be owned by you. Token must be a meme token. The meme token must be whitelisted on Terraport. The registration will be open until October 3rd. This is what you need to know. This is an opportunity for you uh, to get a little bit of a, a win. Maybe you can win $5,000. Also, the Selenium Launchpad is out here. Uh, you can earn by yielding stake farming, uh, et cetera, et cetera. I got three days until I am fully unlocked. I'm going to restake back over here with a little bit more because I'll have, you know, some more. And, and I'm going to buy some more because I want to make sure that I have at least $10,000 uh, in, my, in my wallet and in my holdings because as you can see for the launch pad right now right there i don't have enough i've got 5527 so when i accept that and then i get another 5000 or so then uh, i'll be playing with power if you will and we'll see uh over that time how much i can earn in the selenium and i mean it's free crypto so why not all right that's my time thank you guys so much for tuning in i appreciate each and every one of you and uh, remember this is not financial advice but i'm always right